What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and right now I am hiding out behind my truck because it is so windy. We didn't expect it to be this windy today, however, it's windy. <laughs> We're here in Oak Hill, Florida on the Mosquito Lagoon. We're staying at this super cute Airbnb. It's like the trout cabin. Um, we went ahead and pulled our pro drive boat in and we're rigging up rods right now. We're gonna go ahead and fish with some live shrimp. Um, hopefully catch some redfish. Um, we're gonna kind of scout around for some mullet and some flounder as well. Uh, about an hour ago, we went ahead and set five blue crab traps just to make some more room in the boat. We just used some chicken as bait. Um, but right now, we're gonna go out and fish in this wind. Hopefully, We'll be successful. We're not really feeling it because it's windy and the wind is a little chilly as well. Hence why I am decked out in the frog togs gear. But, see that? Windy. But I made a friend. Look. Hello. Alright. Let's get this party started. Hooking him right under the tail. Boop, just like that. Really simple. And cast him out there. Alright, so we're picking up our line, so I just picked this one up and started reeling and look what we got here. A little flounder. Aww. Well, it's a good thing we're coming back gigging tonight. Oh, buddy, buddy, boy. Look at that. How cool. This is my second flounder ever, other than spearfishing one in Mexico. But I'm super excited to come back tonight and gig. All right, now we gotta get this hook out of this mouth and release him. What do you got, babe? I got a big old biggin. I gotta help you clear some of these rods. Yeah, the one to the... Oh, look how big oh, he is right there. He's huge. Please don't go in that branch. Get him. You got plenty enough line. Come on. Oh, crap. Hold on. I got... Hold on. Hold on. Get him. Get him. Pull him out of there. Hold on. He's swimming. I got him. Back in action. Oh my gosh. All right, so, oh, come on, boy. Go on this side. Away, away from the mangroves, come on. Well, you called it. I was in the back of the boat and Gabe's like, you better get up there because one of them rods, one of them rods is gonna get smoked. There we go. Ooh, his tail just came out. Big one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, gorgeous one. You get a scoop and film? Yeah. Oh my goodness. To... Look at him. Oh, wow, this one is gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. Oh no, is he really kind of... Alright, there you go. This thing's... This is the biggest one I've ever caught here. Ooh, where are you going, buddy? Gosh, come on. Really? Oh. Oh. It's a fight. Look at that bin, though. <laughs> Oh, it's got like a rope on him, or is that seaweed or something? Come on, buddy. Come on. Right here. Come on. It's gonna be hard to get his big butt in his net. All right. Here we go. 
head first, baby. Good job. Filming and scooping. <sighs> See heavy? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. You think we are in Louisiana right now. Look, this fish has line on it. Hold on, look at this. It's coming out of his butt. Oh man. Oh no. He must have had some Pepto Bismol. He needs some Pepto Bismol right now. Oh my goodness. Take him right. in this boat. That's a keeper. There you go. I know. If you no, want... he's actually probably too big. He might be too big. That pink right. jig head right in the corner of the mouth. Boy, we need a bigger net. Come on, buddy. Dang, that's a big one. He's huge. Wow. All right, let's set him down. Oh. Dang, he caught me. I want to see. Look. Hey, look at that. Look, he ate fishing line. That is gnarly. Like, inch, nah, I've never seen that before. I don't want to hurt him. We'll you know, just cut it off. Yeah, we're just going to cut it. Look at this right here in the corner of his mouth. Perfect hook set for Rodney. Get those pliers behind you and right here. Oh, there. Me. Yeah, and cut this line out. That's crazy. Well, this was inside the entire redfish. That is wicked. Have you ever seen that before? No. He's definitely too big, so we're gonna yeah. turn him loose. We're gonna take a quick picture and then release this bad boy. Look, Look how gorgeous. This is a beaut this is a Logan. Hold this hand right there. <laughs> wow. Smile. Oh. Woo. Right. oh, I pulled myself a blue gobby. I'm just a cameraman. I you can't see help. my heel? <laughs> I can't help right. right now. It's just going to stay for a second. We're going to go ahead and measure this fish before we release him. Get the sea deck nice and slimy. Pinch tail. 31 inches. Say what? That is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and release this bad boy. Gotta get down. A little reviving. This one put up such a fight. He almost got you in the mangroves. He, he literally went in the mangroves. There we go. Starting to kick. Gorgeous. Wow. Out of the boat. There you go. Nope. He didn't want to say hi again. <laughs> Talk about first fish of the trip. As you set the hook, I was bombing one of my lines right over there by the tree. And that's where he ran to. Yeah, he went in that branch and then out and then back in and then out and back in. Man, he took me for a chicken run. Well, we got him in the boat took an awesome picture which is probably going to be the thumbnail and a beautiful release thanks blue gabe for putting me on the fish <laughs> so i was just taking some time to reply to some comments on one of my last videos of the patio makeover and gabe just saw two huge redfish make massive wakes just blew out so Grande. hopefully there's more still there <laughs> but we put the power poles down now we're going to get to fishing All right, you guys, taking a little snack break. Found these in Blue Gabe's camera bag. <laughs> I didn't bring any snacks, I forgot. But I'm gonna wrap up today. The sun's going down. Caught a beautiful redfish, caught a little flounder. Um, tomorrow morning, actually tonight, we're gonna go fish gigging and we're gonna net some blue crabs on Blue Gabe's YouTube channel. And then tomorrow we're gonna pull traps. We're gonna go fishing again. So we got- Driftwood hunting. Oh yes. That'll probably be the highlight of my day tomorrow. Driftwood cool hunting. Right Where? See that stump sticking up? That's a piece of driftwood. Oh yeah. I love driftwood. Maybe I'll collect some driftwood tomorrow, um, but it's a beautiful sunset right now. Love it. 
All right, you guys, actually, to break up this clip, I want to show you a clip that me and Blue Gabe took of this blue heron eating a Mayan cichlid. I mean, this this bird used its nose as like a sword. Check this out. His nose or his beak? His nose. His nose. <laughs> I mean, his little nostrils are kind of on top. <laughs> All right. We're going to sacrifice. Yeah, let me do it. So we're going to sacrifice this little exotic species to that beautiful heron. I'm going to throw it just to the left of him. Ooh. Oh! Dang! Ow. Shish kebab that thing. Bro, it wasn't even alive still. You didn't have to stab it. I think it... it... He stuck his beak an inch out the other side. And now he's gonna eat it looking away from you. He's gotta get it wet. He's gonna eat that whole thing? Yeah, he'll stick it down there and get it wet. Oh my goodness. Now he'll get him a little drink of water. Down the hatch she goes. You're welcome. Oh, I like him. Ooh. Wow, that was a big fish. Look at his throat. I've been getting some really good blue heron footage lately. All right, Cap, let's go. The bearings are filling up with water. So Gabe and I were both so impressed when that bird just stabbed the fish. It was insane. We were like, what the? Then he shimmied it off his beak and then swallowed it whole. Check out my new friend, though. Meow. Hello. Don't jump. Don't do it. Hello. Oh, no, don't get on this boat. Blue Gabe will not be happy with those nails on the sea deck. Right now, Blue Gabe wants to go get the lights and we're about to head back out and go uh, eat some fish and catch some crabs. Here he comes now. He's got the bully nets and the lights. <laughs>